Hello, welcome to Biofilm News, where I break down the recent news from the healthcare, pharmaceutical industry, and life science research. Please subscribe and spread the word. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Let's get started. Today's news topic, as reported by Politico, is about perceived health value of Apple Watch. As many of you know, one of the main features of Apple Watch has been a focus on health and fitness. Recent advances in hardware resulted in addition of the electrocardiogram or ECG capabilities to the watch. Basically, not only does it allow you to track your heart rate, but it can also detect more serious heart incidents, such as atrial fibrillation or irregular rhythm of the heart that may elevate the chances of stroke in some people. Wait, does it mean that Apple Watch is a substitute for a cardiologist? While its algorithm for detection of atrial fibrillation has indeed been FDA approved, the concerns about the data are only going to grow. This is what creates a rift between healthcare professionals and Apple. With more people buying the watches, more and more data is being collected. Therefore, more people may be alerted to the atrial fibrillation incidents and in turn seek medical advice or treatment. While on the surface, this is a vital step towards improving a quality of life especially in elderly, where the chances of stroke are higher. False positives and correlative anxiety for the rest of the population are the major concerns not only for doctors, but also for regular patients. Personally, I want to stay on a positive side of the argument and hope that the collected data will be used to constantly improve the underlying algorithms and that the Apple Watch may indeed save more lives than was previously possible. If you'd like to learn more, the link for the full text article is below. Let me know what you think about this topic down in the comment section. See you next time!